We're here today with Glenn Stiglick, who teaches guitar and who has a profile on findaguitarteacher.com. Welcome, Glenn. Thanks for talking to us about your guitar teaching. Thank you, James. Pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be here with you, too. Uh, where do you teach? Uh, what city and what state are you in? I live in uh, Long Beach, California, and I have a home studio here in Long Beach. I also teach at Maury's Music in Lakewood, California, nearby. And you also offer Skype lessons. I'm out there in cyberspace with Skype as well. So if you're not in the Long Beach area, we can hook up that way. That's wonderful. And what's the guitar lesson climate there in Long Beach? Do you find that there are a lot of people who want to learn guitar? A lot of guitar, yeah. And I also teach banjo, ukulele, and uh, mandolin, bass guitar. So between the, all those instruments, uh, I keep pretty busy. Yeah, it's a popular thing. That's wonderful, Glenn. And do you teach uh, both adults and children? Uh, I think my youngest student is five, and I have uh, my oldest is uh, 95, so I get that and everything in, in between. Wow, that's, that's quite a wide age range. That's wonderful. And, yeah. Uh, and um, Great. Great. what styles of music do you find your students are most interested in learning? Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, it's, there's really no one style. Kids like recognizable songs, and you've got the, the uh, teenagers, whatever's popular with that. Uh, classic rock is always popular. Blues, I have classical guitar students. Uh, it's all over the map, so I get it all. And uh, when you're teaching, how long are your lessons? Uh, typically, the the default lesson is a half hour. I get some people who do 45-minute lessons and also hour lessons. Hour lessons are nice. Uh, we can take our time and touch on everything. But uh, half hour is pretty intense, but uh, that's the way it is. We keep the ball rolling here quick. <laughs> and how often do you teach students? Do you teach students every week or more than once per week? What do most students do? I recommend uh, once a week lessons. Uh, if, if somebody's a good player and just need touch ups, they, they call me when they when they're available. But uh, it's good just to have a regular program and do it once a week. I think is the best for the best results. That sounds great, Glenn. And what are your fees? Uh, it's uh, twenty bucks for the half hour, and then I do uh, for the hour. It's thirty. Mm -hmm. And. Um... Would you like to play something for us uh, so that people watching the video can get a sense of the style of guitar that you enjoy playing? Well, there's no style, but uh, I'll make one up called uh, Let's Skype. How's that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Let's Skype by Glenn Stiglick. That was wonderful, Thank you. Glenn. Thank you for playing that. That sounded great. And uh, uh, in simple terms, could you describe your basic teaching approach when you're with a student? Uh, what is your focus when you're with an individual student? Well, individual is the key word there, James. Uh, everybody's different. I just uh, My job is to teach music, have a good time. If I'm having a good time, then you are too. And I just assess each student to uh, write out all my own material. So uh, there's like different ways to play different songs. I try to get it within the grasp of the student to have them play the song that way. And then as they get better, that can evolve into other things, learning how to solo. Just like with my song, you, know, you might have an A chord. And learn how to strum, right. learn different ways to do it, the triad. So it's an ongoing thing. That's wonderful. And do you offer guidance to your students about what guitars to buy? Sure, I can put in my two cents. Uh, the budget is the, has a lot to do with it. But uh, I know a lot of I'm really into guitars, and I'll, I'll offer my uh, opinions when needed. Of course. Well, that sounds great. Uh, um, 
it's been wonderful to talk to you today about your guitar teaching and to learn more about what you do and how you approach your teaching. I, I want to wish you best of luck, Glenn, with your guitar teaching and with all the other lessons as well. You mentioned banjo and mandolin and ukulele as well. Well, thank you, James. Thanks for the questions. It was nice spending some time with you, and I hope to uh, meet some of you guys here real soon. That would be wonderful, Glenn. And as we sign off, maybe you could uh, tell prospective students how they could get in touch with you. Uh, you can um, email me. I have a uh, I have a website, glennstiglick.com, and uh, that my um, email is on there. Or you can uh, call. I have a home phone, 562-562. 429-8623. So uh, you can email me or leave me a message on that, and we'll, uh, we'll hook up. That sounds great, Glenn. It's really been wonderful talking with you, and I want to wish you best of luck in all your teaching. Well, thank you, James, and have a good weekend, my friend. You do the same. Take care now. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye now.